Oklahoma State made history last season with its first 11-win season. Remarkably, all those wins didn't equate to a Big 12 championship or a BCS bowl game berth. Those are clearly the goals this time around. They're real big. Those are our top goals on the, uh, on the goal sheet. And, uh, you know, us falling short last year is only motivation for us to come back and do it again next year. Great season last year. You guys get 11 wins, but you fall short, not winning the conference, not going to BCS game. Are those two big goals for you this year? Oh, yeah. I mean, especially with the team that we have. I mean, we can do that. We can accomplish that. And we just got to remember to, you know, stay focused and, and work hard when we're out there and don't let anything, you know, you know, surpass us, no matter, you know, what the team is or anything. Just we got to make sure we work hard. Having Whedon and Blackman back will only help the Cowboys' chances. Justin Blackman could have bolted to the NFL after a season where he scored a remarkable 20 touchdowns. But his coaches feel he's just scratching the surface. Having a guy like that back, I mean, how, how much better can he get? Well, he improves each day. Uh, and one of the reasons that uh, I was excited about him coming back was he's only really played one year and uh, he should improve considerably after the experience he's gained from that year. He'll be bigger and stronger. I'm working on, me specifically, working on route running and, uh, you know, just overall play with the ball, you know, just coming in and out breaks and things like that. Todd Monken left the Jacksonville Jaguars to become OSU's brand new offensive coordinator, a job he formerly held in Stillwater under Les Miles. Monken will bring new perspective to the Cowboys offense, which already averaged over 500 yards a game last season. We wanted to bring a guy in that was willing to buy into the system that we had in place. It's not always that easy in hiring a coach. When you hire a coordinator, uh, most of them want to bring their game to you. So he'll put his touches or his touch on the system that we currently have in place. It's not every day that you get to uh, take over an offense that was as prolific as it was um, and then learn something new. You know, I mean, I was in a no-huddle offense at Louisiana Tech, but it wasn't the same. So very, very few times you have a chance to go and kind of reinvent yourself. So it's been exciting. And there's good football players here. Um, they did a great job last year, and hopefully we can continue to do the same. It will help to have the same quarterback in Brandon Whedon, who threw for over 4,300 yards and 34 touchdowns a year ago. But his best stat may be his age, 27. It's different because of his age. He's more mature. Uh, He's capable of telling you what he likes, dislikes, why, why they did something, why they didn't. Um, so those are the things that you like about him, just the maturity level. Here in Stillwater, we know this. Those Cowboys are going to put points on the board. What we're about to find out, can they keep the points off the board? Well, Mike Gundy tells me he likes his defense, especially his experience secondary. He tells me his linebackers are young but should be more athletic than last season. His biggest question mark comes on his defensive line, specifically those defensive tackles. We'll be good at the defensive end spot. We have a lot of maturity there. Um, we'll need to grow up really fast at the defensive tackle spot. But, and that's kind of been uh, an issue with us for a number of years. We haven't had returning starters who had great size and great strength. But we've won a lot of games here in the last three years uh, using the team concept. A team and a program who have grown quite a bit the past few seasons. OSU feels it's getting close to where it wants to be. We're trying to build something that some schools have built over a period of 25 or 30 or 50 years. Uh, we're starting it now. The Cowboys seem well on their way. In Stillwater, Oklahoma, Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.